Welcome to the Knowledge Academy Online. This demo addresses the impact of the emerging technology revolution on economic development. A picture is worth a thousand words. And that's why we prefer videos to textbooks. Only when you know the why of things can you master them. How will jobs be like in the future? Why in the long run will economic growth not exceed 1 to 1.5%? What movements have changed the world? What are the most significant advances in information science and technology? What are the most significant advances in biotechnology and life sciences? What are the most significant advances in nanomaterials and advanced manufacturing? Unit 1 deals with economic development in the 21st century. Based on empirical studies, it accounts for the development of the economy since 1700s and predicts its evolution till the end of the 21st century, considering the impact of the huge changes that are underway on the fourth industrial revolution. The most prominent themes in this unit are capitalism and inequality. The capitalist system is analyzed and, its evolution within a market economy is discussed. Unit 2 continues with economic development in the 21st century. The most prominent themes in this unit are economic growth, inflation, employment, universal basic income and new forms of e-business and the services. Unit 3 addresses ongoing changes due to emerging technologies, their effect on employment, and the need to acquire new skills. The dominance of the economy by large companies, especially technology-based ones, has brought enormous benefits, a lot of innovation, great profits but less taxes and more unemployment. Networking in almost all areas, including access to knowledge, is at the basis of a new economic and social order. Unit 4 analyzes the movements and revolutions that changed the world. It begins with the first agrarian revolution, followed by the Golden Age of Athens, and the contributions of China, India and the Islamic world to the early development of civilization. The scientific revolution and the Enlightenment in Europe give the impulse to the first industrial revolution and to modern democracy. Unit 5 analyzes the first industrial revolution. It follows the second industrial revolution and a consequent improvement of the quality of life for the masses. The third industrial revolution comes with the computer and the internet, and the fourth industrial revolution with high-speed mobile internet, the smartphone, networking and a host of innovations in all areas due to the convergence of nanotechnology, biotechnology and information technology, and a lot more. Unit 6 discusses some of the latest advances in information science and technology that are allowing for major changes in almost every area. Like, faster computers and new code paradigms. And the Internet of Things where everything is connected at the speed of 5 gigabits per second. Unit 7 discusses some of the latest advances in information science and technology that are allowing for major changes in almost every area. Artificial intelligence comes to replace much of the complex human work of doctors, lawyers, engineers, teachers and others, and big data analytics which allows to detect a terrorist act, even before it happens. Unit 8 is about the intelligent electricity grid that allows the decentralization of the production of renewable energies and increases of efficiency in the use of energy. Autonomous electric vehicles that make the driver unnecessary drones and robots. Unit 9 addresses the latest advances in biotechnology and life sciences that are enabling major changes in many areas. Genes and MEMS are inherited and acquired information codes, molecular self-assembling and genetic engineering are some of the rapidly expanding areas of biotechnology. Unit 10 addresses the latest advances in biotechnology and life sciences. Regenerative medicine and tissue engineering are revolutionizing medicine. Human enhancement technologies with biomedical brain implants, that are technological devices with the aim of changing human characteristics and capabilities. Energized exoskeletons as well as smart prostheses, 3D printing in medicine and vital function monitoring devices. Unit 11 deals with advanced materials and advanced manufacturing particles, elemental and subatomic, 
atoms and molecules are the progressive form that matter builds up. Molecular self-assembling is nature's favorite manufacturing method and is being used to make nanomaterials. Understanding the specific properties of a material and its meaning in nanotechnology is explained. Carbon nanotubes, graphene, tinnitus and TMDC are some of the new materials under development, with exceptional properties and in some cases non-existent in nature. Unit 12 deals with metamaterials, which are materials with properties that do not exist in nature. It also deals with new super light and strong materials, and new transparent and hard materials. There is also a huge variety of active or intelligent materials that are revolutionizing many areas of application. Also, additive manufacturing and especially the 3D printing are revolutionizing the custom manufacture of everything and at low cost. Please log on to Acknowledge.org and choose the module on the impact of disruptive technologies on economic development.